Hi, I'm Mark Cook for Kid Planes and Avweb at Oshkosh 2019. I'm at the Lycoming booth talking to Aaron Spots of their engineering department about the new EIS, or the Electronic Ignition System. It's going to be available for experimentals and certified aircraft. Let's hear some more. Lycoming is happy to introduce an alternative solution to magnetos in the Lycoming Electronic Ignition System. The system is designed to be retrofitable to all the legacy fleet, including new engine models. The intent is to go for dual installation, but it would be the customer's choice if he would choose to go single installation. The benefits of the Lycoming Electronic Ignition System are the easy startability, um, and also there is absolutely no scheduled maintenance requirement. Currently, Lycoming is pursuing type certification or amended type certificate in, with a fixed Lycoming EIS system. Um, there are follow-on pro projects or programs to roll in the variable ignition timing. Uh, the variable ignition timing is immediately available for experimental engines. It will be one fixed timing map per each engine model, so there will be various timing maps depending on what the engine model is. Lycoming goes through rigorous endurance and durability testing to develop those maps. The overall ultimate goal was to meet the need of, of the customer's request. The customers have been requesting an electronic ignition system, but it was to fill the General Aviation Joint Steering Committee's safety enhancement, which was 48 in an ignition systems. The Lycoming EIS is not a self-powered unit. Um, it will require ship's power or power from the aircraft's battery. And also for a dual installation, it will require a secondary battery source that we will provide. If you run one EIS and one traditional magneto, you could use ship's power. If you were to install dual Lycoming EISs, so a left and a right, then one would be um, taken to ship's power or the battery, and then you would have the other one taken to a backup battery. They will be offered as four-cylinder and six-cylinder. The Lycoming EIS is available immediately for the experimental market. Um, it will soon be um, type certificated in a dual installation in a fixed timing model for uh, original equipment manufacturers. And then the third phase will be uh, an STC targeting uh, mainly the, the larger populations first. So it would be the 172s and the PA uh, 28s. Um, and then following that will be variable ignition versions. Also, um, Cub Crafter's new CC19X uh, has the IO390 D3B6 that has variable ignition installed. They have it um, branded as their CC393I um, that will be certified uh, in third to fourth quarter of this year.